I'll tell you, one of the things you notice in a lot of communities in the Sacramento region is just the beauty of the parks, the streets, the recreation areas, the swimming pools, the lighting. Well, you have to pay for that, and it comes in the form of a couple of different things in different areas. One of those things is a Melarus district, and the other thing would be a bond assessment. Both of those vehicles are used to help pay for all the things that you need in the city to up the quality of your life in that area. And it gets attached to the price of your home. So let's talk about that today. What's a Melarus and what is a bond assessment? So here's how it breaks down. The improvement bond of 1915 actually covers roads and streets and all that kind of thing. Anything that has to do with improvements to your town. City of Roseville comes to mind because they have such a beautiful system here, but they pay for everything through a special tax that gets put on your property tax when you purchase in a Melrose district. And it pays for schools and libraries and parks and lighting around your area. And if it's in your area, you're gonna pay a Melrose tax. The Melrose tax is clearly defined in the property tax statement, but here's the thing. They need to tell you if you're in a Melarus district when you buy that house, unless for some reason you didn't get a TDS because it's being handled by the court or it's a probate sale or all the things that we covered earlier in this series. So if the court or an REO or a, a sale of that that's being handled through a trust, if those things are occurring in your sale, they don't need to provide the TDS and they don't actually need to tell you about the bonds and the Melrose piece. That's just the way that's handled. But if you buy a house the normal way, you need to know you're in a Melrose district so you know before you sign your paperwork, all of this beauty is also financed because you're a resident here now. I've noticed something from looking at my next door application that a lot of people did not receive information that they were moving into a Melrose district and there's just no, no excuse for that. It is part of the TDS package, the transfer disclosure statement, that you are supposed to receive information if you have either a bond or a Melrose tax assessed as part of the purchase of a house. You have up to three days to completely decide not to buy something if you receive the statement about that Melrose or bond tax and you decide you don't want to live in an area that has that. You're supposed to have three days to rescind your offer and decide not to live in that area. And it looks like a lot of agents are not doing that and that's wrong. So if you're supposed to get a TDS, you're supposed to get information about this and you have a right as a buyer to walk from that property if you decide you don't wanna live in a Melrose area. So it's super, super important, I think, as the listing agent to let the buyers know that this is a Melrose area and what that means before they walk into that and you have that discussion late. Anyway, that's my feeling as a real estate professional. It's incumbent on me to get you that information if you're buying in a Melrose area or a special bond assessment. That's it for Melrose and bond assessments today. Important information and there's a lot of Melrose around here. So look at that carefully if you're a buyer and get ready to prepare that if you're a seller or a seller agent. Talk to you later, Deborah Durbin, Sacramento Good Life. Bye-bye.